Welcome back to another tutorial on EDIUS Pro 9. And in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, EDIUS as if for the first time. This tutorial is uh, directed to people who are new to EDIUS and uh, basically running the program for the first time. And uh, we'll just uh, point out a few things that uh, might help you get started. Let's go ahead and click on our EDIUS 9 here and uh, start up a program. And I think for this tutorial, let's go ahead and start a new project. And let's uh, give it a name. I think uh, home is the project that we're going to start on. And just confirm that it's going to be saved to a hard drive that uh, you intended it to. And I like to have this option checked, create folder with new project name. In our last tutorial, we set up some presets. Let's just take a look at what we did here. I think this is the one that we'll go with, the 1920 by 1080, which is high definition video. And uh, it is working with a frame rate that most of our footage has been captured in, 29.97p from our Canon DSLR. All right, so I don't think we need to hit customize. Um, there, there, however, there are a few things that I do like to change. So let's maybe go ahead, hit customize and hit OK. And what I like to do is get rid of the VA tracks and the T tracks and maybe make, uh, two, let's say, three video tracks. I like to change the overscan to zero. And in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create presets where you don't have to make these uh, customizations every time. And we can just double check all of our other options here. They look good. And suppose we could change our audio reference level to something like minus 12. But I think everything else is good. Let's hit OK. And that'll open up our project. All right, here's our project. And we're looking at this as though we're only editing on one monitor. In an ideal world, of course, if you're going to be editing quite a few programs or projects, you will probably want to uh, set up a system where you have two monitors. It'll just make the process of editing a whole lot easier. But since there are a lot of people that are just trying out editing for the first time and they're maybe working just on a laptop computer with one monitor, we're going to record all of these tutorials as though you only have one monitor. The EDIUS interface is basically divided up into four main windows. This here is called our preview window. And uh, our preview window can show up as either one monitor or two monitors. In this case, I have it set to two monitors. One this side, on the left-hand side, it will show our play, uh, a chance for us to preview all of the media that we want to possibly bring into our uh, project. And then as we do bring the media into our project, it, they will show up here uh, on the, our what's called a record monitor. And uh, we'll see uh, more how that works in a little bit. But just for now, know that this is our preview window. And uh, down here, we see what's called our timeline window. This is the window where we place our media and uh, build a project. And we'll talk a lot more about that in another tutorial. Over here, we have what's called our bin window. And uh, you'll notice that all of these windows can be moved around and, and resized, repositioned. You can design your workspace uh, in a lot of different ways. But know that this is our bin window, and this is where we will see a thumbnail representation of all of the media that we want to work with. And using our folder system here, we can sort our media into various folders and organize our project in a way that will be easy to find the clips that we need to use. And then down here, we have what's called our effects uh, window. And uh, it actually has a, a few other things as well. And each of these might be called a palette inside of our effects window. And uh, we'll talk a lot more about effects especially and uh, show you different ways that you can apply effects to your project. Now, you'll see that uh, as you bring your windows together, they kind of snap together. And once they're snapped together, you can go take your mouse and put it kind of halfway in between your uh, individual windows. And as you drag this one way to show more room in your effects palette or your effects uh, window or your bin window as you move it, uh, the other two windows will become smaller. And you'll notice the same is true for up and down as well. 
and uh, that'll make it a lot easier to uh, perform specific tasks that may require more real estate uh, in any given window as you're working on your project. And if you are looking for a more detailed orientation to the various windows of EDIUS, um, I encourage you to go to ediustips.com and uh, take a look at some of the tutorials that we have recorded in the past for EDIUS 7, EDIUS 8. There's video tutorials that are in much more detail there. They're also over at YouTube, uh, for example, if you want to check out how to edit videos in EDIUS 8. Go over, um, we see that lesson two is getting to know EDIUS windows. And this gives you a very detailed orientation to all of the windows of EDIUS. And you'll see that uh, there's just a number of tutorials here that walk you through uh, getting used to the bin window, for example, the timeline window, and how to organize your media. There's lots of uh, great material there. And even though it's for EDIUS 8, everything that we show you in these tutorials will uh, apply to EDIUS 9 as well. For the EDIUS 9, I believe what I am going to do this time um, with this release is to kind of zero in on very specific tasks so that uh, the tutorials for EDIUS 9 can be almost like a help resource for people that might be editing away and then they come to a specific task that they need to do in their project and they can't quite figure out what how to do that in EDIUS. Well, you'll be able to then go to our uh, tutorials and do a search for that specific question that you have and we should have a tutorial on that particular question. Alright, well I believe that that does it for a quick orientation to EDIUS Pro.